There are some things that we all know and love about Deadpool. He can recover from nearly any injury, he's skilled in battle, and he has excellent comedic timing. But there are some incredible superpowers that movie audiences have yet to be introduced to. Don't worry, we'll let you know what they are, but first hit subscribe for more from CBR. Stay right here. Anti-aging. As pretty much everybody knows, Deadpool has absolutely amazing regenerative abilities. He can grow body parts back that have been blown off, and he's seemingly impossible to take down because of it. But not everyone knows how far his healing abilities extend. If you've seen the movie X-Men Origins Wolverine, you probably know that Deadpool and Wolverine have a lot in common. They were both part of the Weapon X Weapon Plus program, and they can both heal themselves to incredible degrees. Wolverine ages at an extremely decelerated rate because of his powers. Favors a 48 panhead. Oh, one new off the line. I think you're a little young for that, son. And it seems like Deadpool ages even more slowly. In the comic series Messiah War Part 2, we see Deadpool doing just fine 800 years into the future. That's right. Not only do bullets, explosives, and aptly timed punches not stop our hero, but neither does the ravages of time. His good looks might not have improved over the hundreds of years he's been alive, but he seems to be getting along quite fine. However, whether or not this ability makes it into the movie canon is hard to say. We'll see about that. It seems that for now, Marvel is content to show he and Wolverine as having comparable healing abilities, at least for the moment. Shh. Image Inducer We love characters who don't exactly look like normal, everyday humans, but we also recognize that they can present a problem story-wise. Unless they can hide their appearance to blend in, it really limits the things that they can do. One clever way around that is introducing an Image Inducer into the storyline. In the Marvel Universe, this device was created by Stark Industries and produces a hologram designed to cloak the wearer's appearance. It's no secret that none of the versions of Deadpool is much to look at. And although he may make jokes about it, for the most part he's pretty self-conscious about his appearance, and understandably so. After all, he thought it was so bad that it would cause the love of his life, Vanessa, to break up with him. Using an image inducer would mean that he could walk around as Wade Wilson without his appearance causing gasps and stares from people. And for a mercenary for hire, being able to change your appearance is an invaluable skill. So for a while, Deadpool had one of those devices, but this powerful device didn't end up working out. Because Deadpool isn't known for having a level head, he would often cause the device to change his appearance periodically, making it ineffectual as a cover. Language no, we aren't talking about that sort of foul language there in Deadpool and R rating. Really? Although in the movies we only see him do a couple of simple jobs, he had a long and successful career as a mercenary. That involved a ton of travel and often required being in disguise. As such, he developed a power that most people would overlook, but became indispensable in his chosen occupation. Deadpool is fluent in a number of languages, and although that may not seem overly impressive, it's harder than you might think and at various times it becomes an incredibly useful skill to have. In addition to speaking English, he is also fluent in German, Spanish, Japanese, and American Sign Language. Because of his abrasive personality, many people tend to underestimate Deadpool, but he's not unintelligent. When he teamed up with Hawkeye in Hawkeye vs. Deadpool, he used ASL to communicate, since Clint is deaf in the comics. His fluency in Spanish proved useful in Deadpool and the Mercs for Money, when he needed to converse with his Mexican teammate. In fact, he may know more languages, and we just haven't yet seen him have a chance to use them. Stamina Superhero fans know that just because you can heal yourself doesn't mean that you don't feel pain. But Deadpool's healing abilities give him a huge advantage in one important physical area, stamina. He's managed to hold his own against some of the heaviest hitters out there. Deadpool has survived being pummeled by the Hulk, Carnage, the Rhino, Spider-Man, and many, many more. Not only does he recover from his wounds, but he never seems to slow down, and that's because of his supercharged stamina. It's a side effect of the whole super healing thing, and it's a pretty darn useful one. His muscular system produces far fewer fatigue toxins than the average human, so he can push himself harder for longer periods of time. And even if he does start to get worn out after a while, his amazing regenerative abilities means that he will be back to peak performance in no time. Sure, we've seen many superheroes from Spider-Man to Captain America engage in lengthy and strenuous battles, but while they may be able to hold their own for a few hours, Deadpool can fight enemies for days before feeling winded. Metabolism It's no secret that Deadpool loves chowing down on chimichangas. Sure, he gets a lot of exercise beating up bad guys and getting beaten up by them, but how many calories does that really burn? You might know him as the Merc with a mouth, but in the comics that mouth is filled with food a lot of the time. 
In Deadpool Volume 2, he cooks up over 300,000 pancakes for himself just because he felt like it. He has a super-powered metabolism, which means that no matter how much he gorges himself, he is back to his muscular physique in short order. In terms of superpowers, this might not win him a battle, but it's still one that most people wish they had. But as far as Deadpool is concerned, this is as much of a curse as it is a blessing. His extreme metabolism and healing ability means that it's impossible for him to become intoxicated from consuming alcohol. He can throw back tequila shots all he wants and still be frustratingly sober. Deadpool is one of the many superheroes you definitely don't want to enter into a drinking contest with. Ooh, maybe. Bullet dodged. He may not be the fastest superhero out there, but that doesn't mean that Deadpool is easy to take down. If he does get hit by a bullet, of course he has the ability to heal himself without fail, but managing to hit him is much easier said than done, and we've seen this on screen. Remember the opening scene of X-Men Origins Wolverine? We saw Deadpool avoid being struck by bullets, and that's a consistent ability both in the movies and comic books. In addition to his super abilities, he is also an incredibly skilled fighter who is no stranger to being attacked with firearms. He isn't quite on the same level as Flash or Superman, but he does have highly enhanced speed and reflexes. With a hop, skip, and a jump, he can avoid being struck by projectiles and disarm enemies at close range. Hey, it's not quite being able to eat hundreds of thousands of pancakes, but it comes in pretty handy in his line of work. Considering that he finds himself in plenty of situations in which he's being shot at, this is definitely an essential part of his arsenal. Spare Parts by now you know that if you chop off Deadpool's hand, he'll eventually grow a new one back. But what happens to the hand that was cut off? Does it disappear in a puff of smoke? I don't think so. Does Wade just use it for compost? Well, apparently he just forgets about his old body parts as soon as he loses them. But that doesn't mean that they don't still have powers just like the rest of him. If you thought that you were obsessed with Deadpool, you don't have anything on British psychiatrist Ella Whitby. She decided to take up a macabre collection of spare parts lost by Deadpool over the years. For ages, she saved them in her freezer until Deadpool found out and naturally was pretty disgusted. He threw them away, but once they thawed, they merged together into a brand new person. That's right, his healing ability is so powerful that his body parts still maintain it, even when they're removed. This ended up creating an evil Deadpool, who pretty much existed to both emotionally and physically hurt the real one. So maybe having to worry about your discarded body parts coming back to destroy you isn't great, but it's still pretty impressive. Taste. We're finally going to answer one of the age-old questions that has been plaguing you for ages. What does Deadpool taste like? We know that Deadpool eats the same types of food that we eat. Sure, he does so in massive quantities, but he's probably 90% chimichangas at this point. However, apparently that doesn't translate to him tasting particularly good. There are many creatures in nature, such as the horned lizard, that produce a foul-tasting substance to keep away predators. Well, apparently Deadpool's body doubles as a defense against people eating him, because it tastes terrible, and it's so noxious that it isn't only human cannibals he's protected from. A character named Dr. Lavazno found a way to make humans immortal, with the caveat that they are essentially flesh-eating zombies. Because of his regenerative abilities, it seemed like Deadpool would be the perfect everlasting food source in this scenario, except for the fact that he tastes so horrible that even zombies don't want to eat him. The particular flavor of Deadpool is described as being similar to rancid tofurkey that's been marinated in formaldehyde. Tasting so horrible that zombies don't want to eat you may be the next plot point in The Walking Dead. Psychic Resistance as far as powers go, psychic abilities are pretty hard to defeat. If you can completely control someone's mind, you can defeat them easily. That's why many characters have ways to avoid this, such as Magneto's helmet. But Deadpool doesn't have to worry about having his enemies invading his mind. No, it's not because they don't want to know what he's thinking about. Dad? Although we definitely couldn't blame him if that was the case. There's a lot going on in Deadpool's mind, and this does make it difficult for characters possessing psychic abilities to peruse his thoughts. But there's another reason why it's so difficult, and it goes back to his healing powers. In case you forgot, Deadpool does still have cancer, which means that his brain cells are constantly dying off and regenerating at the same time. Needless to say, this makes his mind one that is nearly impossible to enter. Although we have seen him resist the telepathic powers of some heavy hitters like Professor X, Emma Frost, and Cable, this ability doesn't always work. He's been controlled by the Shadow King and influenced by Psylocke at various points in the comics. Whether his power just has limitations or is occasionally ignored for plot reasons is hard to say. Teleportation With characters that have been around for a long period of time, sometimes they grow and evolve. On some occasions, this means developing new powers, and on others, it means losing some well-established ones. 
Plus. Deadpool has gained and lost some powers over the years, and one that he used to use was a teleporter. He had two different ways to teleport, with the first being an actual teleportation device. This was designed by his high-tech friend, Weasel. Needless to say, it came in handy when it was time for combat. However, it did make things a bit too simple for our hero, so he ultimately retired the device. Then there's the way he could teleport by relying on his buddy Cable. He was able to body slide to wherever Cable happened to be at that moment in time. There's no doubt that teleportation is an incredibly useful power in combat and for just getting around quickly. But for the sake of not making Deadpool a completely overpowered superhero, we can definitely see why they decided to omit this one. Captain Deadpool. Now that you have a better idea of some of the superpowers Deadpool has been hiding, which ones do you want to see on screen? Do you think he should have the ability to teleport, or do you just want to see a whole bunch of zombies unable to stomach our hero? Let us know in the comment section below, and click subscribe for more from CBR. We'll see you next time.